hello everyone how's life and welcome to another one of my videos i hope you're having a good day today i'm here at disney's hotel new york art of marvel and i'm very excited to tell you that for one night only i've decided to upgrade myself to empire state club which is the club level here at hotel new york i was very very lucky to have stayed there once before about 10 years ago as well it's literally in fact a, exactly 10 years ago a decade ago in 2011 for my 21st birthday in july of that year um obviously a lot has changed in the past 10 years the whole theming of this hotel has changed so i wanted to check it out i want to see you know what the rooms are like they're meant to be a little bit nicer a little bit bigger and you also do get some perks which i'll talk about in a bit you know later on but this is my room uh it's on the eighth floor so eight two two zero um i've just noticed actually that right in front of me here we've got one of the suites so the superhero suit is just over there sweet um yeah there you go so those are obviously a lot more expensive than just getting a club level room um i have actually never stayed in a suite here in any of the disney parks i don't need to that's another reason like i've never felt the need to because normally it's just me or if i come with my friends we're all happy to just share a room we don't need a whole suite like a big space but um maybe one day i mean if i had the money i would definitely i would definitely try it um so yeah i thought i'd give you a little room tour of uh one of the you know club level rooms as well because it is a little bit different to the standard room if you haven't checked out my standard room tour here at disney's hotel new york art of marvel i'll leave the link down below because that's also a very good room I mean, there's nothing wrong with the standard slash superior rooms it's just that i want to check out what these ones are like so the first thing to note is that the cards that they give you your magic pass will be different so if you're staying club level at hotel new york you get like a woo like a really shiny kind of black and white silvery one whereas the regular ones are red i believe yeah just they kind of have more color to them so yeah these are the days that i'm staying in <laughs> just in case you care so here we go room number 8220 got my key here let's go in so i just closed the door here for you as with any hotel room you do have a little map of the hotel uh, on the door to give you some information if you do need it at any point oh there's a little like two cards here i think these are more or less uh, the same as you would get in a standard room. Uh, do not disturb card as well if you don't want anybody to come into your room. And then um, this is what you see when you first enter the room. The two beds over there, which we are going to get to later on. I'm actually going to start with the bathroom this time around because I normally tend to start with the main room. But I thought, you know, since the bathroom is the first thing you actually see when you come into the room, it makes sense. Now, let's just turn it off. Yeah, there you go. The keys, by the way, are all... On your right when you enter the room um yeah these are for the bathroom and then these keys here the switch is for the actual room so it kind of turns on and off everything in the room but yeah let's start with the bathroom first um because the bathroom is also actually not too different from a regular room so there you go that's me i am a little bit tired <laughs> haven't slept much to be honest in the past couple of nights but it's all because of good things good reasons um so yeah this is the sink you get this one really huge sink which is nice you get these little paper cups that say um hero up on them and they have wrapped these all in like a uh, plastic because of the pandemic i would imagine that normally they wouldn't do that but they want to make sure that you know that they're all clean and safe and no one's touched them you get some towels some more towels over there as well down below um some some more tissues and stuff uh this is the hair dryer now i haven't used this yet um i think the ones that they have in the standard rooms are the exact same ones as these though uh, i am going to probably use it tonight it looks like a really nice and modern one it looks like they've definitely upgraded the hair dryers because i don't remember disney hotels ever having hair dryers this nice just by the looks of them you do have some plugs here you know if you need to shave etc you've got one of these huge giant windows not windows uh mirrors hello i hardly ever use them i mean let me know in the comments below do you use these i guess when i'm like plucking my eyebrows i might but yeah i just find them scary um so yeah this is the main window why do i keep calling these windows this is the main <laughs> i'm so sorry guys this is the main mirror i suppose it kind of is like a like a window because i'm just seeing through it but it's just that I see myself instead of somebody else, instead of the outdoors. Um, jokes aside, it's a lovely mirror. I do enjoy it a lot. I think 
with the lights that go all around it it makes it look very nice and sleek and modern looking i also really like the details here the metallic kind of vibe that they've gone for all throughout the hotel actually not just in the rooms but you'll notice these details um, in the lobby area as well and for instance you see it here too all the way down there um, you do get a soap of course a savon um, which actually if you want to see what the soap looks like um, go and check out uh, the other hotel in fact I'm just gonna open it anyway because what if it's different it's probably not gonna be it's probably gonna be the exact same soap as the normal rooms and this is just some like what was it vanity set yeah um, yeah it's gonna be the exact same so check out my uh, regular room toy if you want to see what's in them uh, this just has some like um, cotton buds and nail files and whatnot um, and then here we've got the bath and the tiles again I love the tiles I know it's like quite a basic you know nothing you know out there situation with the decor but I like it you know I like the the subtleness of the details that they've put here it's just nice you know it's not completely white a lot of people complain about some Disney rooms especially like the hotels that are meant to be for conventions and stuff such as this one normally tend to be very white you know I would compare this hotel a little bit to the contemporary for instance at Walt Disney World these are um, your shower gels and shampoos and conditioners and I love that the artwork that comes in front of them on them here's the shower looks nice i love these though these are my favorite details again i know it's nothing special for a lot of people but i just love um the taps like the way they've designed them they're fun they're a bit funkier than what you would normally get in a in a bathroom and then on your right hand side here you have the toilet of course which nothing exciting but oh it is nice that you can like slide this door open and close just note that it doesn't close fully i don't mind this obviously i'm just here on my own but if you really do mind you just have to make sure that no one actually comes to the actual bathroom because the point of these sliding doors is that somebody can be in the toilet whilst somebody else is maybe taking a shower or washing their hands but um yeah you get some uh, toilet paper of course they actually give you three I've noticed which is good I think a lot of hotel rooms have a standard of two obviously every hotel would give you more if you need them but it's just interesting that uh, Disney's Hotel New York gives you three as a as a base and you've got these little hangers as well over here and yeah that's basically the the bathroom you know as I said nothing special as far as I can tell it's the exact same as the bathroom in a you know superior slash standard room but I thought I'd show it to you anyway. Now, we're gonna make our way out of the bathroom now. So this area here, so let me open this for you. Here we've got a safe, as with any hotel room. Um, it's a really, really huge safe, I would say. And one of the best things about it, I mentioned this in the previous room tour as well, of the standard room, is that it actually has, as you can see over there, it's got a little plug. And not only a European plug, but also two usb plugs so if you want to for instance charge your ipad or you know your macbook whatever you have that you want to charge whilst you're in the parks and you want to keep it in the safe you can do that you can have a charge as it's you know safe in the safe so that's really really nice you do get an ironing board as well with an iron over there um loads and loads of hangers which because i'm only here for one night i haven't actually hung anything apart from this um, and if you want to check out where this is from, look at my Instagram, you know, it's by a lovely uh, French woman who makes these uh, little small business that I want to support. I absolutely love it. You do have some storage area up there. I mean, not that I could even really reach it, so... <laughs> it's just, it is there though, if you're staying for a long stay, for instance, and you need some more space. Some more storage here for little bits and bobs, again, if you need to put anything. All of them are empty, obviously, at the moment, because I haven't put anything in them. This now is definitely something that wasn't in a standard room. So they actually give you these really, really nice uh, ropes, bath ropes or sleep ropes or whatever you want to call them with uh, the logo of the hotel on them. So there you go. It says 
uh, Disney's Hotel New York Art of Marvel. I love this. Now, you can actually buy these in the shop. So, whilst they do provide you with these in a club level room at Hotel New York, you can't take these home. You can take the slippers home, I've checked. The slippers are meant to be taken home, you know, they're for you to keep. But the actual bathrobes, they apparently wash, wash them and then kind of reuse them for the next guests. And if you want to buy them, you just have to pay for them in the shops. Um, and yeah, what I do like actually about staying club level at Hotel New York is that with the slippers, and let me take, take one out, show it to you better. So yeah, with these, these and these Hotel New York Art of Marvel slippers, you can only get these slippers if you stay club level at Hotel New York, or I imagine they'd probably provide them to you if you stay in a suite as well. But you can't buy the slippers, whereas you can buy the robes. Um, that's just something that I thought was cool, because it just give, you know makes it a fun and special souvenir to take home with you. Following on from here, you do have some more space on the top. I've just put my hoodie on. And then here on your right hand side, you do get a full mirror again, which again to me looks exactly the same as the one you know, in the standard room. Um, yeah, nice full mirror, um, just like a little black outline. Nice and simple, effective. It does the job, that's all you need it to do. And then of course we get <laughs> to the main room. Now I'm just gonna let you have a quick look at it before I go into detail, but yeah, this is the room. These are the beds. Ah, oh, look at this. This room is absolutely gorgeous, in my opinion. Okay, well, let's have a closer look at everything, shall we? I think we should probably start with this area here, a little desk area with the TV. The TV is so cool, exactly the same again as the standard rooms, but it's just a really fun TV. As I mentioned in my standard room tour, one of my favorite things about these new renovated rooms is that they have so many different plugs, like they have been modernized, they have now become useful for people of 2021. Um, as you can see, I'm currently charging my batteries for my phone. So they do actually have two USB plugs here. They have some more uh, elsewhere as well. They have European plugs, they even have a UK one. Um, yeah, different kinds of plugs for everything. I love this whole metallic look again of the area around the TV. <laughs> um, I also do love actually even the wallpapers. I think they're nice. Um, these are just my suitcases, you know, that's the floor. This is just some shopping that I did. Um, yeah, this is the chair. Again, the exact same as you would get in a in a regular room. Um, that's where my uh, card was in. And then this is <laughs> the TV. It says, welcome Mrs. Nasseri. Unfortunately, I'm not a Mrs. I don't even know why I said unfortunately. I'm very happy to not be married. Um, but yeah, this is the welcome sign that you would get. Hotel New York. I love all the artwork around it as well. I love it. I love the sketchy style of this. They actually have artwork similar to this uh, at the entrance of this hotel as well, which I really enjoy. I love the black and whiteness of it. And um, as you can see, on top of it, it's a mirror. So this whole thing actually acts as two things in one. So it's both a mirror and a TV. As you can see, you can, you can see me here. Hi! And I think this is just like a modern, technologically advanced thing that a lot of hotel rooms are doing recently. Um, and like Disney is, uh, you know, slowly but surely catching up with it. I don't really, you know, watch TV. If I want to watch anything, I just use my laptop. But it is cool to have this. I think it's just a really nice, sleek look that goes well with the whole vibe of this hotel. Now, one extra thing that you would get if you're staying club level is this. I noticed this in my room when I entered. It just says Hotel New York, um, obviously Art of Marvel. It's a nice little box and in it, I think, let me just have a look. Okay, so I think it's just some writing paper with the, the logo on the top, which actually works well for me because I love writing. I love writing letters and cards to my friends, so that's perfect. And then you even get like an envelope with a nice little design. There is some like characters on here as well, Marvel characters. So yeah, that's a little writing set that you can keep and uh, take home with you again as a little souvenir from your stay. You do get a little welcome letter as well as you would with basically any hotel. So that's nice. Again, you are allowed to keep this if you wish to. This is the remote for this awesome looking TV slash mirror. <laughs> At least it's not a window though, because for some reason I keep calling regular mirrors windows. Now, this is the coffee making machine. Uh, this is the brand of it. I haven't used it, but you do actually get coffee making machines, I believe, in the regular rooms as well, because there was one in mine. Um, these are the Vitel bottles that um, they provide you with, Hotel New York. Love that. 
Oh, and actually look at the look at the mats as well. That's also cool. You get a kettle as well if you if you want to drink tea or if you just want some hot water. Um, these two bottles, by the way, they didn't come with the room, so don't expect four bottles. But yeah, you get loads of little cups, you know, as you would with uh, the regular standard rooms. And then this is like an ice bucket, I would imagine. Again, loving this whole metallic vibe over here. And then down here, of course, we've got the bin, but also I believe this will be a little mini fridge. Yes, there you go. Let me open this for you. Yeah, you've got this pretty standard, you know, size mini fridge uh, in case you need to put anything in there. If you want to have some cold drinks or whatever, you do get that um, in these rooms. But you also get them in the standard rooms, so. though. Now, you might have already seen a little bit of a sneak peek of the artwork in this room. One thing I noticed straight away as I entered here is that there was more artwork in this room than there was in my previous room. So I think if you stay in a standard room, you might maybe get like two pieces of artwork or if it's like the smaller ones, you know, a few of those and then one big one. But in this room, in an Empire State Club room, you get two big pieces of artwork and then like a few small ones as well, which I'll show you in a second. I think the artwork is great. I love all the art that I've seen over the past few days of my stay here anyway, but I also love them because of all the colors. So like for instance, this artwork here, I believe this is Doctor Strange. Love the colours. I think they're amazing. Like all the pinks, the reds, the burgundies, the purples. What an incredible piece of art, right? I don't even know much about Doctor Strange. I, I recognise the guy these days because I've seen him a lot throughout the hotel, but I don't know much about him. But I still enjoy the artwork and I think it does add a lot to the room because the room overall is very, very white and grey. So it's it kind of needs that little, little dash of colour that these artworks uh, bring to the room. Okay, well, let's continue. First, let's have a proper look at the artwork from like the a straight angle here as well. Lovely. These were the chairs, these little metallic looking chairs. Um, there's two of them. I've noticed the chairs are a little bit different than the ones I had in my other room, in my standard room, but I don't think there's much of a difference to them, to be honest. That's the other one. You do also get this little desk in between if you want to put your coffees or drinks, etc. Also, this light is cool. I love the design of all the lights in these rooms. They're so, they're just so sleek looking. I can't, I can't even think of a better word, to be honest. I think sleek is the best thing I can, I can think of to describe them. Um, and then the view. Lord have genuine mercy. So let's just uh, open the curtains properly and have a look at this phenomenal view. Right, <laughs> this is it. This is the view, obviously we're on the eighth floor, so we are quite high up. I mean, we're basically higher up than that part of the hotel, which is pretty awesome. And then on the right hand side, you can see Disney Village, Rainforest Cafe over there, where I ate the other day with some lovely French vloggers that I've met on this trip. Oh, you can even see Tower of Terror. Oh my God, can you see it? There's Tower of Terror in the distance over there. That's so cool. <laughs> of course, you've got Panorama Magique. You've got a new Fort Bay Hotel in front of you, Lake Disney. That's Sequoia Lodge over there. And then you've got this new area of Hotel New York that they have changed since its reopening. It's meant to be Central Park. Uh, it used to be um, a patinoire, so like a, a nice skating rink, you know, before the renovation back in 2017. But now it's got a lot of green to it. And it actually works really well. Now that I see it from the top, I think it looks really, really nice with this green space here. But yeah, I'm obsessed with the view. It's been a long time since I've had a view like this, obviously, because this hotel has been closed for so long. Um, I've been lucky enough to have, you know, stayed in, in rooms with views at Newport Bay quite a few times in the past few years. Um, but then obviously when you're staying there, you get to see Hotel New York. Now I can see Hotel Newport Bay and uh, a better view of, of everything, I would say, as well, because you can literally see Disney Studios and the entrance of Studio One uh, down there. I'm actually going to like zoom because I really want to emphasize how close we are to the parks and like Tower of Terror is one of my favorite rides in Disneyland Paris. So to be able to see it from my window, even if it's just for one evening, is pretty awesome to me. Okay, let's move on from this phenomenal view and this fantastic huge window. Have a quick look at the curtains. They're basically the exact same as the ones in the standard room. This seems to be kind of like a, I don't know, like a really fancy material. But yeah, there's just like a cream colored uh, curtain. Then we've got the chair here. And then we've got our four smaller pieces of artwork on the other side 
opposite to um, Doctor Strange. So we've got Spider-Man and then like the Avengers up there, just loads of nice colours. This is the thing I love about this hotel. You've got some reds, some blues, some like blues and purple, some yellows. They've chosen the combination of colours and the artworks really well for every room, I would say. Uh, even if they're like standard rooms, no matter what kind of room you stay in, they've really chosen the artworks well, I think. And you're not going to be disappointed with any of them, I wouldn't say. And then, of course, here we've got... <laughs> the two beds now apologies for my laptop and my, my brush and stuff being there also that's some uh, free stuff that I got so I'll show that to you in a bit as well but as you can see already that's the third piece of artwork I mean technically it's what the sixth one but I kind of count these four as one because they're smaller pieces uh, compared to for instance that one over there which is much much bigger and I think than the spider-man over there which is an awesome looking um, you know, artwork of Spider-Man, uh, is the same size as Doctor Strange and is quite a big piece and I love it. Again, I love the reds. I love all the colours that these, uh, these artworks bring to the rooms. So the beds, again, the areas here are the exact same, I would say, as the ones in a regular room. Yeah, more or less the same. I can't imagine any differences between them. The floor is also the same with the carpets and everything. Uh, the only thing that is different that I've noticed is actually the headboard. So um, in the standard room, your headboards, I believe, were like white. And then this middle section area with the lights were black. Whereas I believe, if I remember correctly, um, these are now white. So yeah, yeah, those were definitely black in the standard room. You can go and watch that vlog if you want to, but I'll actually, I'll insert a little clip now for comparison. So in a standard slash superior room, as you can see over here, the headboard is quite hard. Uh, it's just like white, metallic looking, um, hard uh, headboard at the top of the bed. And then around it, surrounding it, are these black areas. And you can see them on the other bed as well. These black lines where you have the lights. And the lights are really modern looking. But yeah, all the tables, the bedside tables are also black. And then you've got the switches here. And you've got some more switches, of course, on the other side as well. But yeah, as you can see, they are all uh, black in between. And the switches here. And then white headboards uh, for the bed. So um, yeah, this is definitely very different to the Empire State Club bed. So yeah, in a standard room, you would get a hard white headboard. Whereas these ones here are softer, made of different material. And they're, of course, a different colour as well. So they're more of like a, I guess, creamy colour? I don't know what you would call it, but they definitely look somewhat fancier. Um, so that's one thing, I guess, that they've done with the club level rooms. The actual lights themselves are black. It's just the bedside tables where, you know, they've got the plugs and everything that are white. I like that as well. I think that's a nice, you know, touch, nice difference. Um, you do have your telephone here, of course, if you need to contact reception, you know, room service. Again, this is my room number. Um, I love the little Mickey shaped everything, even for like reservations. So yeah, that is that. You get some extra lights here as well, which is cute. Um, another light there and another light on that side. To be honest, I would be fine with either headboards. I mean, the ones in a regular room were just as nice as well. It's just, I guess they wanted to do something to note the difference between um, a regular room and uh, an Empire Club level room. But um, yeah, let's have a closer look at this uh, little artwork of Spider-Man. I'm loving the reds and oranges. He looks awesome. And um, yeah, let's go and have a look at these plugs as well. So as you would have seen, there are definitely some over there as well. I think they have these little plugs next to every bed area, which is awesome. So again, here you've got um, a European one, but these are for the light. So, okay, that just turned on this, which makes sense because the photo actually looks like it. Let's turn this back off. Now let's do this. Oh yeah, so that again, turned this big one on which makes sense again because it literally looks like it. Let's see what this one does. Oh, I don't understand what this is doing, to be honest. And then this one. All right, that just uh, turned everything off. So yeah, that is that. In the middle, uh, in between the beds, is actually where you have your USB plug. So as you can see, I'm charging my phone at the moment. But um, yeah, 
it's actually convenient because if you're coming with friends or whatever, or if there's two of you and you, you know, you're sleeping in separate beds, there is always going to be one in the middle for you to share. So that is that. Let's have a quick look again on the other side to see which kind of plugs they have there. Right, so that one over there, it looks to be European ones, just like the one on the other side. So they've kind of done like a little symmetrical <laughs> design with these rooms, which, um, yeah, I do appreciate. But all in all, this is it. This is the room. So yeah, let's have another look behind me. I love it, you know. For me, um, staying club level is just worth it for the service, the extra service that you get. The rooms do, for some reason, feel nicer. I can't even explain it because, honestly speaking, apart from the headboards and the little bed type tables, I haven't really noticed much of a difference. But even like the corridor, which um, we we'll walk down the corridor tomorrow morning because we have a breakfast, designated breakfast area downstairs in a special lounge that is meant to be just for club level people. So I'll take you to breakfast tomorrow morning with me too so you get to see what that is like if you're staying club level. But yeah, even the hallway just smells extra clean. Like honestly, as soon as I stepped into level eight, you know, the eighth floor today to check into my room, I was like, oh my God, even under my mask, because obviously you still have to wear masks when you're walking around. I was like, wow, it smells just so nice and clean. <laughs> so, yeah, I think if it, if you can, especially if you're staying for like a special occasion or something, it's definitely worth it. Um, obviously, I've just done it for one night because I wanted to see what they look like. Um, normally, I wouldn't, you know, do this for just one night. I don't think it's worth it if you're just coming for a night. Uh, but actually, for me, in a weird way, it is worth it because it meant it was cheaper. You know, doing this for one night is, of course, cheaper than staying longer. But... I think if you have something special coming up, it's definitely worth staying club level, like I said, in any of the Disneyland Paris hotels. So at the moment, the ones that do offer club level are Hotel New York, um, Newport Base, Aquaria Lodge, and obviously when Disneyland Hotel reopens, that also does <laughs> offer club level. However, just so you know, club level at Disneyland Hotel is uh, a little bit more expensive than the other hotels. So yeah, may might not be worth it there. I don't know. Before I forget, let me quickly show you this as well. So obviously, this is just a kind of artwork that you get given. I think anyone making any reservations at Disney's uh, Hotel New York Art of Marvel up until I believe the end of July or something like that for bookings until the end of the year, um, you know, they receive one of these limited edition exclusive artworks with the Hotel New York's logo on there, which is so nice. It's such an extra, like nice extra thing to get. You also do get one of these. So I'm very lucky I've got two of these now, two of each of these. This is a Daily Bugle, Spider-Man. And actually, it's not just a newspaper. It literally just has information about your hotel room, which I think is such a clever, creative way of showing the hotel to you. So as you can see, like it's really all about it. Check out Time is 11, Concierge, Your Room's TV. Um, yeah, it's, 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 there's a lot going on and a map and everything. So really enjoy what they've done with that. But one thing that you don't get if you're staying in a standard room and you only get if you're staying Empire State Club level, obviously is this, which I mean, it literally says on it, um, ESC, which is Empire State Club. So let's open this and see what's in it. Oh, there's nothing because uh, it just had my receipt, like information about, you know, my, my, uh, <laughs> my name and everything, my address when I booked it. So I've just taken that out. But it also has this little thing. So it says, uh, well, Le Pouvoir de l'Empire State. That's the French section. I think it's just in French, which is absolutely fine. It's probably because uh, because I spoke French when I was checking in. Um, but yeah, it just kind of tells you that you have your own reception. So these are basically the perks. Uh, you, you get your own reception area when you check in, which is nice. You know, it's especially convenient at a time like this, I would say, for like pandemic and you know covid social distancing reasons it's nice to have your own area that is a little bit quieter you get your own lounge um which you can just go and chill at whenever you want to and um at certain times you can get some food as well for free as part of your stay and uh yeah that's the petit déjeuner which is um obviously breakfast from 7 a.m to 11 uh, a.m and you can go down to your lounge absolutely any time between 7 and 11 you don't have to tell them what time you're going uh you just you just go whenever you feel like it to be honest as long as it's in between those times and then that's the tea time area between four and uh six which um actually let's cut into that first so you can see what that's like because i did it earlier so one of the benefits of staying club level at any disney hotel in disneyland paris is that you get a little afternoon snack in your lounge area your private designated lounge area only for club level guests uh, i'm about to go inside now at the empire state club to check out what kind of snacks they've got 
Of course, they've got some hand sanitizer. Bonjour. Merci. Merci beaucoup. So it's worth noting that club level pre-COVID meant they could just go and get whatever you wanted, like it was self-served. Obviously now they can't let people go. Hello, thank you. Now it's table service. Now, as with any other buffet service in Disneyland Paris, it's turned into a table service. So you can still have as much as you want, you know, you don't have to worry about uh, lack of food. Um, it's basically going to be probably the exact same things that they would have had if it was a buffet but you just have to order it and they bring it to you. So same thing, actually probably a bit nicer. I mean, you can see here at the moment at, um, what is the time about? Maybe I want to say five, 520 in the afternoon. They have the service in the lounge from four o'clock until 5.45, so an hour and a half every day. Of course, as you can see, because we're still in the age of a pandemic, uh, they do have hand sanitizer on every single table. I'm loving this area. I stayed, uh, well, I stayed Empire Club level when the hotel was just called Hotel New York many many years ago i want to say back in 2011 for my 21st birthday and i'm pretty sure the lounge was in a different location like i don't remember it being here obviously they have renovated the hotel completely so everything is new i'm loving the lights now um everything everything in this hotel has been lovely like even just the decor over there on the chairs here behind me as well everything just looks so sleek i love it so a phenomenal very phenomenal cast member just bought me this so this is how they uh, serve it to you, I guess. And if you want any more of any of these, you can just ask them and they'll bring you them. But yeah, normally you'd be able to just obviously take these from the buffet, but this is so cool. I mean, look at this, some Captain Marvel. I believe uh, he said, he explained everything to me, but I've forgotten everything now. So I think this was like a chocolate, uh, you know, little cream thing. Uh, these are of course macarons. I did ask him if they were orange ones and he said no apricot. So apricot um, Oh, he did say these two over here. These are some chocolate um, Dessert things, but they're vegan So I am loving all the options and new options that they're finally giving to vegans here in Disneyland Paris I mean, it's still not amazing, but it's definitely a good start and then on the bottom. I think he said um, This is yeah a ham sandwich. There you go. Oh, he said this is like pasta or tomato, so like tomato pasta kind of thing. And on the other side, I don't really know, like maybe like another sandwich. But yeah, this whole plate uh, situation looks really lovely. I didn't expect to be, you know, presented with this much food. And I ordered a hot chocolate, which I believe is just arriving. Ah, oh, thank you so much. Merci. <laughs> Oh, this looks amazing. I, just, yeah, I feel like royalty, honestly. This is phenomenal. Okay, well, I think I'm going to start with this Captain America thing. It's really nice, very soft. There's a white chocolate piece of uh, Captain America on the top, of course. I'm enjoying the chocolate creaminess inside. So if you like a lot of cream, especially chocolate, you would enjoy this. Definitely like a nice little snack. I'm gonna try the ham sandwich now. It looks like there's some like maybe cream cheese or something in there as well. It looks nice. The bread is really nice. I like the bread they've used for this. The ham is nice too. Yeah, I like this. Now I'm not the biggest fan of pasta or like Italian cuisine generally. But for the sake of this video and for the sake of just life and celebrating life and being, you know, staying at a club level at Hotel New York for the first time since it's reopening, I thought I'd give this one a try. So uh, this is what it looks like. I mean, it looks really nice. There seems to be some tuna with it as well. And actually, I do enjoy pasta with tuna. So maybe I'll enjoy this. It's lovely. <laughs> this is actually one of the few types of pasta I do like. You know, simple pasta with tuna, you know. There is a tomato in there as well, but it's mainly just pasta, little pieces of pasta with tuna, which I do actually enjoy, so yeah, love it. I've just realized how weirdly I've done this. So I started with that little, I guess, profiterole, chocolate profiterole, which I tried, which was really nice. I'm gonna get back to this later. And then I went down to the salty things. I do generally speaking prefer salted snacks, salted food, just salted things rather than sweet. I actually low-key want to eat this as well, but I am kind of full, so I want to try and, you know, try a little bit of everything. Not all of them. I'm, I'm probably not going to try this, for instance, because I'm not sure what it is, actually. Um, but it doesn't look like something that I would want. I do want to try the vegan chocolate uh, dessert, though, just because I'm curious and I want to see what, uh, you know, what kind of options are for vegans and if they actually taste as nice as they look, because this looks really nice and presentable. So I'm going to try this one. 
I don't like apricot, but I might take a quick bite of this. We've already tried the profiterole uh, down below. I think he said um, this might be some kind of hummus. I don't really know. I'm not sure if I'm going to try that, to be honest. I think I'm only going to try this after this. And, um, you know, I'm just going to then eat all the bits that I liked. Because if this was a buffet, there would be a lot of things I wouldn't take. And I'm so full right now. That I just want to, I want to enjoy myself. You know, I want to I wanna prioritize things that I like. So we'll try this. And I think after that, I'm going to have my hot chocolate as well. Because hot chocolate, just generally speaking, in Disneyland Paris is phenomenal. So I'm, I've got high expectations for this. So I'm about to try the vegan chocolate option here. Um, looks to be like a bit of a mousse perhaps. I took some biscuit as well. I don't, I don't really I don't really know what it is. Looks to be some kind of biscuit, but I mean, it's, it smells really nice. Pretty strong, like very strong chocolate smelling. <laughs> I'm gonna have a bit more because I'm, I'm a little bit confused. It tastes nice. But obviously I am not vegan, so I don't eat a lot of big vegan food. I don't eat a lot of desserts just generally, but let alone vegan ones. This is nice though. Um, I can't tell exactly what it tastes like. I think I think it's a bit chocolatey. So a bit of chocolate, but like a strong chocolate. I don't know if it's dark chocolate or obviously because I can't use milk. Maybe that's why it tastes a bit different. The biscuits taste really nice and goes really well with the chocolate option. I'm just glad that there is a vegan option. Look, um, amongst all the things that have brought me, this was the only one that was vegan. So not the best but at least you know if you're coming here with a vegan friend i've got vegan friends or if you're vegan yourself and you're coming along with people who eat all sorts of other things you won't have to like just sit down and not eat anything you've got at least something to eat okay well i'm about to try the last thing that i'm going to be trying today on this day i'm sure i'll be staying um empire club level again one day in my life you know and maybe for longer because i'm only staying one night on this trip but hot chocolate here i just love this angle sorry that you're quite far from me but there you go the hot chocolate you can have a closer look at it. It looks nice. I'm sure it's going to taste nice as well. I mean, as I said, I always have high expectations from hot chocolates here in uh, Disneyland Paris. Is it bad to say that this is my favorite thing here? Like, Lord have mercy. I mean, honestly, I think for the hot chocolate alone, having this lounge is worth it. I'm not much of a snacker anyway, but if you are a snack person, you know you would really enjoy this you know the opportunity to have like a couple of hours of being able to come to this you know exclusive lounge that is only meant for guests that will stay in cup level um getting loads of different kinds of savory and sweet snacks one vegan option so that's something you can get some drinks as well of course i went for the hot chocolate but you know they've got other things they've got teas coffees i'm sure they probably do some cold drinks as well um, and like I said, who knows how long it's going to be like this, you know, eventually it might go back to being a buffet In which case it's probably going to be the same stuff Just that you're going to have to go and get the stuff yourself rather than it being served to you But um, yeah, the hot chocolate alone, honestly If you've never tried Disneyland Paris hot chocolate, you are missing out Like even if you don't like hot chocolate regularly, please try it in Disneyland Paris And I always say this, but I do actually have a whole video on my channel About the best hot chocolate that you can find in Disneyland Paris Unfortunately you can't find it right now because the hotel where you can get it is currently under renovation. It's a Disneyland hotel, but you should still watch the video anyway in preparation for when it does reopen. So there you have it. That was everything that I tried. As you can see, the time right now is close to six. Mickey's enjoying life. And they are kind of closing this area now for the day. As I said, this normally will be open from 4 p.m. every afternoon until 5.45 p.m. So an hour and a half. Hello. <laughs> Um, and there's no one here at the moment. I'm the last person. Good morning. I've just left my room and uh, if you're staying club level at Disneyland Paris, you also get a separate area for your breakfast and you also get breakfast included. You don't get breakfast included normally when you stay in a Disneyland Paris hotel. If you just book a standard room, you have to normally just add it on. But uh, of course it is included. Um, you know when you stay club level so i thought i'd take you down to breakfast with me as well it's going to be in the same area i think where i had my uh, little snacks last night i say little there were quite a lot of them but yeah this is the hallway by the way so you can see on the eighth level where i've been staying uh, you've got that artwork of i think that's dr strange and then it says empire state club <laughs> i love it such a nice such a nice little sign and um, it smells honestly incredible on this level like it smells good everywhere in hotel new york but it smells extra incredible when you're staying club level i just noticed that little sofa there as well that's definitely not a thing in other levels it's quite nice and velvety right we're in the lift 
on the eighth floor at the moment. We need to go to level zero. I love the New York skyline as well in the lifts. They're exactly the same lifts as they would be on the other side. But here you go. I'll see you at breakfast. So as you would have seen in the previous clip when I went to have some afternoon snacks yesterday, over there is where the uh, Empire State Club lounge level is. And here is actually where you check in. So this is your private check-in area if you're staying club level. Again, it, it says in big letters ESC, so you can't miss it. So yeah, really nice little private area. It's normally obviously a lot less busy than the regular queues for check-in. Um, and yeah, this is the lounge. So I'm just gonna have to go and show my key to them so they know that I'm staying at Empire Club level. And then I'm sure I'll be go <laughs> let in to go and have some breakfast. Bonjour. Bonjour. Oui, oui, c'est parfait. Merci. D'accord. So this is my current view of the Empire State Club lounge area. That's where I was sat last night uh, for my little afternoon snack. As you might remember, obviously back then it was a lot emptier, but this is like prime breakfast time. So whilst it's definitely not like extremely busy, there were definitely more people as you can see. Got my hand gel here. Also, you do have to check in because of the pandemic, obviously, wherever you go. In any restaurant that you go, if you want to sit inside and eat there, you do have to do a little form. It takes like maybe 20 seconds. Just put your name, uh, surname and phone number so they can contact you if needed. So I've just done that. It's 10 o'clock in the morning at the moment. And yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing the menu. So this little basket, I say little, it's quite big, of, you know, pastries, croissants, pan chocolates, you know, normal bread has just arrived. And uh, the little menu area is actually here on the table. So this is it. You've got uh, some cold platters, uh, which are young hams and cheeses, etc. if you want something like that. Bagels, uh, salmon bagels. They're really nice, actually. Oh, I think I'm going to go for a hot platter because it's my last day here and I really do want to treat myself. They do do the Captain Marvel pancakes here, or waffles. Um, they do bacon and toast, they do... I think it's basically, honestly, it's basically the same as the breakfast you would get uh, in a standard room, but obviously in a standard room, the only difference is you have to actually pay extra. But when you book uh, Empire Club level, it's just included in your stay. So I am going to choose something and get back to you. So I've decided to go for the American platter, the American hot platter, which is some uh, sausages, uh, scrambled eggs, toast and bacon. I had it the other day when I was staying in a standard room and it was really, really nice. So I think that's going to be it for me. It might get, maybe if I'm still hungry, I won't be. There's so many pastries here that I won't be hungry, but I've shown you all the options anyway, and it does say Empire State Club on the top of this menu as well. So yeah, I think, I'm pretty sure the American uh, breakfast is gonna be enough for me, but you, you do need to know that because this is meant to be regularly a buffet, I think, um, if you do want more, I mean, literally, if you wanted to, you could literally um, ask for all of them. If you're that hungry, you can ask for all the plates, but that might be a bit much. Um, I've got my orange juice as well that my uh, lovely cast member here brought me. Uh, I decided to go for orange juice today. Normally I go for apple juice, but I think sometimes actually in the mornings I do prefer orange juice. I think it goes better with breakfast food and apple juice is better for my evening food. I don't know. I mean, I drink both. This is actually really nice. It's like nice and freshly squeezed orange juice as well. So it's got bits in it. Tastes really nice and refreshing. So my hot American platter has arrived, which uh, was this one over here. The reason I went to the American and not the English is because I'm not the biggest fan of beans and like tomatoes. It's just, you know, I just thought if I got them, I wouldn't eat them really. I wouldn't enjoy them. So I'd rather go for the American platter. And I actually really enjoyed this uh, veal sausage as well. I think it's a veal sausage anyway. It's definitely not pork. And you get some potatoes with it as well. These are quite nice. Um, I've also got my um, cafe au lait my latte over here which is lovely my orange juice um i've just asked for some butter as well so bon appetit i'm gonna enjoy this really nice uh, food at the moment even the bacon looks good actually and i don't normally like bacon literally butter arrived just as i was about to eat as well so i thought i'd show you the different butters that you can get as well i think one is like um unsalted and one is salted so you've got options for that as well this is my plate this is me with my plate i'll speak to you after i finish my food so i've just finished my breakfast it was really really nice love the orange juice i think in terms of what's on the platter my favorite thing on the platter is actually the sausage it's lovely you know um i don't normally eat pork i mean i eat it every now and again and i can i enjoy pork sausages as well i obviously ate bacon but it's not my favorite meat so the fact that the sausage here isn't pork makes me really happy 
I've still got a bit of my latte left though and I'm taking my time with it because um, I enjoy being here also. The current time is about 20 minutes to 11 so they serve breakfast here from 7 I believe to 11 o'clock so 20 minutes I suppose until it's gone but you can still arrive like I, I think I've just seen one family just got get here so even if you get here like 5 minutes to 11 you can still get served breakfast already I've noticed it's a lot quieter like within the past half an hour of me being here people have slowly but surely left and not a lot of people have come in at all apart from just one person just now so if you want a more quiet area um, for your Empire State Club I would definitely uh, suggest coming a bit later and I think some people might prefer quieter times not even just because of the pandemic but like you know I think if you've um, if you've paid extra for Empire Club level or like club level generally you probably want it to feel a bit more VIP or just a bit more relaxed and sometimes you can't relax when it's really busy and you've got families and kids everywhere around you I don't mind myself whatsoever but just thought I'd let you know that if you want a quiet time normally speaking coming later is better or coming very very early but I would say even early might still be busier than it is now so it depends on what you want to do though I like staying in and enjoying my bed and you know taking my time but some people when I like, get to the park straight o'clock in the morning like be at the parks for opening time I'm not about that life so you need to choose what you want and go from there okay well I thought I'd give you one last look of the Empire State Club lounge area especially now that it's uh, a lot emptier not a lot of people here at all because I think there's only just one family a couple of families on the other side because there is some more space over there as well um, yeah really enjoyed my breakfast uh, that's the entrance that's where I came from I hope you enjoyed seeing what was available and now let's go back to Sam from the room the really awesome room so there we have it that was a full very detailed room tour of an Empire State Club room here at uh, Disney's Hotel New York um, eighth floor I believe uh, they also have some rooms available on the sixth floor and seventh floor so you won't you know be guaranteed to get an eighth floor room I got really, really lucky like I'm so happy because obviously the higher up you are the nicer the view and obviously because I've got such a wonderful view as well I really wanted to be as high as possible I believe the eighth floor is the highest floor that you can get rooms at if you're staying club level here but um yeah like i said the seventh and sixth floor also here the rooms here are actually situated on the other side of the standard room so when i was staying in a standard slash superior room i was located um on the other side of the hotel if that makes sense so i had a separate lift whereas now that i'm staying club level again i've got my own lift with um other club level people i believe however having said that i think because you know the lift that i do have also does go to other levels like levels that aren't club level it's not specifically for club level people it's just that the lifts on the other side of the hotel don't go any higher than level three whereas the ones on this side they go all the way up to level eight which is uh where i'm at now low key or should i say low key I would happily stay here on every single visit. Having said that though, um, there's something about the, the kind of conventional look of these rooms that doesn't feel as homely to me. So whilst they're very sleek, they're very, very modern, they're incredible, service incredible, it's so clean and so spacious as well, that the rooms look so spacious. The beds, phenomenal, really, really comfortable. I think that I kind of miss the the more magical, homely vibe that I get when I stay at other Disneyland Paris hotels such as the Newport Bay or honestly speaking even the Cheyenne, like I love Hotel Cheyenne and it's a lot cheaper than this one. So yes, whilst of course I'm very very grateful, very very happy and lucky to be staying here for the night, I don't think it's necessarily a room that I'm going to be repeatedly visiting obviously because it's quite pricey um, and also I don't know, like I'm, I'm just as happy staying in Hotel Cheyenne, like the rooms there, the Toy Story themed rooms are fantastic in my opinion. So as I said earlier, I think these rooms or just like a club level at any of the Disney hotels is perfect if you, if you have something to celebrate, you know, I think um, for a lot of us after like the year and a half that we've had, not being able to travel, not being able to do much, a lot of people are trying to kind of have slightly bigger trips, you know, make the trips more special because so many people have lost holidays over the past year and a bit. So yeah, I mean, if you want to do that, I would say it is worth it. Even if you do it for a, for a couple of nights, you know, if you're coming to Disneyland Paris for like, say a week or five, six days, if you want to upgrade yourself for two nights, I think it would be worth it. I think one night is, is not necessarily worth it. Um, because unless you're like me who, who is lucky enough to come on a regular basis you wouldn't want to be spending uh, you know a lot of time in the hotel right so if you're only staying you know club level for a night you're not gonna make the most of it you know it's, you're, you're gonna be paying a lot of money to just kind of sleep in the room because you're probably gonna be spending most of your time in the parks I'd imagine 
Um, so yeah, if for longer stays I would definitely recommend it though. Also one more thing to note is that uh, as you would have seen on that little list that I showed you earlier, the perks of staying in club level at the moment in any Disney hotel are the fact that you get your own little um, check-in area, um, you know you get a slightly better <laughs> room, you know normally on the higher levels of the hotel, you also get your lounge, your private lounge that you know you get to share with other club level guests here. But uh, pre-COVID, before the pandemic, another perk used to be that you would also get um, extra fast passes for the park. So that was something that actually was very, very helpful back in the days. Now, who knows what's going to happen with fast passes across the world in Disney parks. I don't know if they'll ever come back, when they'll come back, if they're going to be changed to something else. But um, I imagine that when they do come back or when they kind of start uh, introducing something similar to that in the future, they'll probably add a new perk to staying club level as well, which um, which would make uh, staying club level even better because, you know, it's always good to have an extra fast pass, you know, and uh, with the fast passes that they used to give you, if you stayed club level, you were able to use them on absolutely any ride that uh, has a fast pass. So you didn't have to like pre-book or pre-choose what ride you wanted to. You just get given this piece of paper and um, any of the fast pass rides at the parks would accept them. But that is the end of the video, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it, I really, really do. I'm so glad I got to show this room to you. I'm so, so glad that I'm staying here. I'm gonna make the most of it. I've literally been in this room for the past two hours already, just like staring at the view. I'm not even kidding. I've been working a little bit on my laptop, but like I've been facing the view. So every now and again, instead of working, my eyes just drift to the actual view and I look at Lake Disney. It's been awesome. I'm very, very grateful. And I hope you like the tour as well. I would love to hear your opinions. You know, what what you thought of it, do you think it's worth it, you know, the extra cost. I'm not going to tell you the exact price of how much I paid for this one night because it varies, so I think me telling you would just be pointless because it really, really depends on the time of year you're going, their availability, so if they have, you know, fewer rooms club level, they might charge you more because, you know, they want to charge you, they have the possibility to charge you because they're fuller, if that makes sense, so, you know, as long as there's demand, it's going to be more expensive. Does that make any sense? I don't know. Also, obviously, depends on the time of year. Also depends on, like, annual pass prices. You know, with my discount, I can get a bit of a discount with my Infinity Annual Pass on all the hotels here at Disneyland Paris. I'm not saying that meant it was cheap. It was still pretty expensive for the night. But, yeah, I just think if you want to find out what the price is to upgrade, the best way is to just call Disney directly, Disneyland Paris, and ask them. Um, and sometimes it might even be better to just upgrade when you get here. So you know, maybe just book yourself a standard room and then come here and on the day, you know, talk to somebody at the reception, a cast member, see what happens. Sometimes if you're really lucky, you might get upgraded for free. You know, that's not obviously going to be like a norm. Don't expect that. Don't count on it. But just know that it is a possibility. Disney loves treating their guests every now and again. So pixie dust definitely is a thing in Disneyland Paris. I've experienced it a few times. Um, very, very lucky. This time though, I paid myself. So yeah, that is the end of the video. I feel like I've rambled on a lot. Thank you so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram and subscribe down below to my YouTube channel as well if you want more content like this. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs> this is some extra content. It's just to see what the TV is actually like when you do press OK. So this is the OK button on the remote control. That's the current sign over here. I'm just going to press it and see what happens. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. And now we have a mirror, which also is a TV show. Okay, TV show, television. All right, let's turn this down. We've got the Hulk literally there. It does say Miss Nasseri over there. Cool. Love this.